Hello friends! This dress is something that I never thought I would own. I did not think it would be possible for me to get this dress because it's pretty rare and it still goes for quite a lot in the secondhand market. But Zen Market through Zen Plus graciously sent it to me in order to review their site as well as made in clothing shop within their site. I still cannot believe it. Thank you! So much! I love it so much! I never even put this dress on my wish list because I was like, it's too unattainable. I can't do it. Zen Plus is the new name for the marketplace within Zen Market that hosts a bunch of different shops. If you are unfamiliar, Zen Market is a Japanese shopping service where you can buy virtually anything you want from Japan. I've used it for Tamagotchi, weird baby gremlins. <laughs> And of course, Lolita fashion. Not just Lolita fashion though, you can get any kind of Japanese alternative fashion that you want. It's amazing. On Zen Market, you can shop directly through Rakuten, Japanese Amazon, Yahoo Auctions Japan, Yahoo Shopping Japan, and of course their own marketplace, Zen Plus. You can access and search them all from Zen Market by selecting and searching in different languages and your own currency. Zen Plus acts like a host for many different shops, and when you shop within those shops on Zen Plus, there's many different benefits, one of those being that there are no additional fees. I reviewed one before called Mary Bell in an introduction to Otome fashion. Today I'm going to be reviewing Maiden Clothing, a Japanese secondhand shop specializing in gothic, lolita, and punk styles. Maiden Clothing has two physical locations in Japan as well as their own website which you can shop from if you are within Japan. But if you're outside of Japan, you'll need a shopping service and that's where Zen Plus comes in. With Zen Plus, you can shop with Maiden Clothing and order it all within Zen Plus's website. You can search by brand, add to your cart, choose shipping options, including customs, and track your parcel all within Zen Market's website. Shopping with Zen Plus, you can also earn rewards to accumulate to use towards future purchases. Made in Clothing has a wide range of brands to shop from, however, I do feel that they don't update their stock as frequently as a lot of Lolitas are used to when shopping with other secondhand sites. I think that this is due to them just being a smaller operation. Made in Clothing is part of a well-balanced Lolita shopping list. Although it might not have the capacity to fully sustain all Lolita needs, I do think that it should be added to your regimen of sites that you regularly check up on and keep tabs with because it's a great resource and really easy to use. With brand! Brand! <laughs> I was going to um wear both of these rings, but this is a very professional collaboration, so this one's a nod to the veteran Lolitas. Of course, as I've mentioned in many other videos, you don't have to wear brand to be a Lolita. You don't have to have brand, but brand is nice, and it is something that a lot of Lolitas work towards and it is part of their goal to get different brands, whether it be Angelic Pretty or <laughs> Baby Starshine Bright or Alice and the Pirates or Moitié, Innocent World, or <laughs> trying to think of brands outside of Angelic Pretty right now. <laughs> My mind is so clouded and sweet. My only other criticism of Maiden Clothing is that their photos aren't always the best to display their pieces. So even though the photos are clear and the quality is nice, they're not always styled in the most flattering ways. Each piece is always very clearly labeled so you can always run a quick Google search to see how those pieces have been coordinated by other Lolitas, which can make the world of difference when it comes to shopping in Lolita. You can also use use those names to search on Lolibrary to see the original stock photos. However, we all know that stock photos of Lolita isn't always the best either, so I think it's kind of best to try and find coordinated photos. Maiden Clothing is just one of the many stores that you can shop on Zen Plus. I encourage you to take a look for yourself and explore and see what you can find. That one rare thing from Japan that you really have always wanted and never thought was possible, it could be on Zen Market, through Zen Plus or one of their other various services. This is Perfume of Wonderland, a collaboration dress between Angelic Pretty and Imaikira. And for any of you who may not know, 
Emi Kira is my favorite artist. <laughs> I'm not afraid to take such a bold stance. Caravaggio, more like Caravaggino. Francois Boucher, more like France. Nah. Paul de la Roche, more like Paul de la Noche. I'm done, I'm, I'm so sorry. Twinkle Mermaid was the first dress that I ever saw when discovering Lolita. Before I even really understood what Lolita was, I saw that dress, fell in love with it. It took me 10 years to get, and I finally got it. I got to meet Imai Kira last year at Teco while wearing Twinkle Mermaid, and this was like a full circle amazing Lolita moment for me. I'm like getting teary just thinking about it. <laughs> Even though this dress is from 2014, it does reflect more of Imai Kira's updated art style, whereas Twinkle Mermaid's from 2006, so <laughs> it's a little bit different. And so it's really cool for me now to have these two pieces that reflect different periods of time in her art. I'm literally crying. <laughs> Let me explain why this dress is so rare. This dress was originally released in 2014 at a tea party, and there was a small reservation period during December 2014 where you had to include your tea party invitation number to buy it. And then there was a brief made to order in January of 2015 for this dress, so not a lot were made. <laughs> Everything that Angelic Pretty releases is always limited and maybe they'll re-release it or maybe they'll make a made to order later but this is like extremely limited <laughs> this is my first polyester dress i do own petite patisserie which is chiffon which holly has informed me is a type of polyester <laughs> but this is the like start of the new generation of angelic pretty dresses that are made of polyester I haven't really had an opinion on them as of yet because I haven't owned any, so I've just kind of been one of those uh, <laughs> cotton elitists because that's all I had and knew. But now that I have this, you know, I'm not fully swayed, but I am impartial to it because I think that both cotton and polyester have their own benefits. The nice thing about this is that it is really, really vivid. I don't know if you can see it right now because I am very close to my beauty lighting, but this print is very, very vivid. I will show it through the course of this video in my outfits and also some close-ups. It's really nice. It's very soft and it was so easy to pack up. Throughout the course of filming this video, I've had to <laughs> pack this up several times to go to different spots. I just folded it up pretty quickly and it didn't wrinkle, which was great. And it also didn't take up a lot of space. It's also very, very comfortable and very lightweight. And it did come with a ribbon and waist ties, but I took those off because I don't usually wear them because for me it just creates more problems. <laughs> I love all of the details on this dress so much. There is this bow at the top with pearls running down it and this lacy collar with pearls on it as well. This part is not removable which I kind of wish it was a little bit just because it would give you more options to style it because you have to be sort of particular about the neckline of the blouses that you wear with this. And because this is so elegant and over the top, it kind of limits it to more over the top styles. I think it might be harder to coordinate casually. This is, ex the shape of this bow and all the details in it is, ex is extraordinary beautiful. So I don't blame them for making it a permanent structural part of the dress. This waist bow also is not removable, but has these really cute pearls on it. I like that they use this very detailed lace at the top, but then at the bottom they use more of a plain trim. And this is nice because this dress isn't the shortest dress from Angelic Pretty, but it is kind of mid-range on the shorter side. It's not as long as some of their other dresses, especially when you wear it with a big petticoat. But I do think that this dress is really beautiful on its own and would look really nice with an underskirt. I think that because this bottom trim isn't as decorative, it'll be easier to blend in an underskirt. I don't currently own an underskirt, although I would love to get one. Working with this color scheme has been very tricky for me. So this is considered a Saks colorway, but as you know, Angelic Pretty's 
blues and sax never match. They're always a little bit different. This blue is a little bit more green. I do, there are so many colors to work with within the print. There is like this dull muted pink. And I did see some comments of people wanting me to wear it with pink. When styling this, I really tried to stay away from pink because my skin tone is very pink undertone. And a lot of the pinks that I own are very bright and I thought would kind of compete with this. So I tried to stick with more of a cool tones and yellow approach. Now, <laughs> this is a little bit difficult to explain and I really wish that I had paid closer attention in my color theory class in college because there are certain reasons that I put colors together and I can't properly explain it because I thought that class was stupid and yet I use things from it all the time. I'm gonna try my best to explain. When coordinating this, I stuck with colors that were either complementary or analog on the col color wheel to these blues. So normally when I do my makeup, I do just like a ton of pink and I try to avoid using pink entirely. I use like golds and peach and orange type shades. I think that this just balances with the dress because it is part of that complementary color scheme. I also tried to pair this with different grays, gray tones, because that's sort of like a less saturated version of this color. I guess any color desaturated becomes gray. But I think that that's why that worked. And then I also used some like gray purples because that is close to the blue in the color wheel. I basically just avoided like reds, pinks, and greens. I will show you how I've styled this dress and hopefully that will help explain the reasoning of why I did that and it might help you with different colors that you are struggling to coordinate. I always like how I look in blues but I tend to avoid them just because I have so many warm color things and I'm generally such a warm color person. I'm really really curious to hear in the comments what colors or color schemes do you tend to stick to and which ones kind of overwhelm you or frighten you that you want to experiment with because opening up this conversation might help me as well and I think that could help all of us kind of explore colors. This is the headpiece that came with Perfume of Wonderland. It's so cute. It has pearls on it and it also has wires in it which I love. I love when head bows have wires in it because you can form them in different ways. I've seen this be more stiff or more rounded. What baffled me the most about this headpiece are these dangly bits at the end. I've never seen a head bow with these before. I think that it is neat when you have your hair up and it is cute because it makes it look like you have earrings on. This might be a nice detail for people who don't have their ears pierced but have their hair up. It kind of adds some decoration there. However, I do have my ears pierced and I have plugs in front of my ear piercings. So I feel like for me, it kind of like bunches up. I need to, if I'm wearing this headpiece with my hair up, I need to wear very minimal earrings and plugs. My criticism is that wearing this with your hair down, these are gonna get tangled in your hair or in your wig. It hasn't happened yet, but I did wear this with a wig and it kind of looks cute because it's stuck out, but that wig is more kind of on the thinner side and it's um, it doesn't get as tangled as easily. But I do kind of foresee this being a problem and I kind of wish that they were detachable or that they maybe had like a way to like tuck them in. It's very strange. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen a head bow like this and your thoughts on it. Anyways, let's move into how to style this dress, Perfume of Wonderland by Angelic Pretty and Ima Ikira in many different ways. All right, in this first coordinate, I am wearing a princess sleeve blouse from Devil Inspired. This is one of the blouses I reviewed in my Blouses for Lolita video. If you're interested in more details on it, please check out that video. I think that this princess sleeve blouse has more elegant and over-the-top elements. I'm wearing a Baby the Stars Shine Bright rectangle headpiece. I know, I know, an angelic pretty dress with a Baby the Stars Shine Bright headpiece mixing brands? Gasp! <laughs> I'm honestly so glad I got this headpiece a while back because it is so versatile. 
This wig is from Ava Hair. I had my hairstylist cut bangs into it right before filming. I think it still needs some time to settle down and maybe a little bit more styling, but I like the overall color and shape. My tights are from Peachy Shop. It's hard to see the details in them, but there are small golden constellations on them. The shoes I'm wearing are from Bodyline. This coordinate is a bit wild, but I like it. I paired this very bright yellow wig because there is yellow in the print and the hue of this yellow is close to the original yellow on the color wheel. The wig is also the only area in which I brought out such a bold color. I'm wearing a tricorn hat from Bella Bows, and my blouse is from Fan Plus Friend. In this coordinate, I'm wearing another blouse from Devil Inspired that was featured in my blouse video. It has more of a casual feel for a princess blouse, because I think it's made of cotton? The material looks less over the top. I'm wearing a minty mix curly bob wig in the color marshmallow. I absolutely love this wig. The shape, the color, it's so nice. I paired this with a boater hat and cotton candy feet holographic shoes. I'm using a parasol as an accessory slash prop with this. I'm not sure where it came from because I bought it secondhand from a Lolita in my local community. I wanted to wear a different wig with this coordinate, but I accidentally grabbed Holly's because I have a wig that is very similar in color. This wig was cut to Holly's head, so it doesn't quite frame my face right, but I'm still working with it here. I'm wearing boots because, well, I'm in snow <laughs> and I'm not sure where these boots are from because my mom gifted them to me when she visited. Thank you, mom. <laughs> this coat is from Bodyline and I'm wearing the matching headpiece. Even though it's the dead of winter right now, I wanted to do a coordinate for warmer weather. I have this really cute overskirt and headpiece that I got from another dress that I bought secondhand. Though these pieces were not listed on the Lolibrary for the dress that I bought, so I think that the person I bought it from made them. I really like how they look with this dress. It gives off an angelic quality. I'm wearing the headpiece with another Ava hair wig. This is the same style as the gray one, it's just a little bit more worn in, and the blonde colorway. I'm wearing bodyline shoes, bodyline blouse, and yes, fishnets. Fight me. <laughs> I think this coordinate is my favorite. I'm wearing another angelic pretty headpiece with the headband tilted back and a beret on top. Now that I'm done working on this video, I'm planning to do a video on how to wear berets and different ways to style them, so please stay tuned. I'm wearing my Minty Mix blonde and tan split wig, the fan plus friend blouse again, although you can't really see it. I'm also wearing a rough collar from fan plus friend with this jacket that my sister gave me years ago, I'm not sure where it came from. I'm using my Cotton Candy Feet Star Hollow bag, and my tights are from Devil Inspired, with Bodyline Rocking Horse Shoes. I don't recommend wearing rocking horse shoes in the snow. And ice. It was very treacherous. I recommend in this kind of weather to wear proper winter boots and bring shoes like this in a tote bag and then change into them indoors. I'm very thankful that Chris and Holly helped me film this because they were able to help me walk and supervise me walking in icy snow with rocking horse shoes. I hope you got some ideas on how to style different Lolita pieces. Please check out Zen Plus to help with your Japanese shopping needs. Thank you so much Aiden, Chris, and Holly for helping me film this video. And as always, stay lovely. Oh, I'm sliding. <laughs> I'm sliding. Winter safe. Not winter safe shoes. No, no.